Mark Slane with the United States Krav Maga Association here, answering the question, uh, what exactly is it that you teach? Uh, I tell people we are giving them a switch to go from overwhelmed, uncomprehending, terrified, uh, to going forward with rage and aggression to do the maximum amount of damage in the minimum amount of time, and then getting to safety. Uh, and then, of course, people give me a, a blank stare. I go uh, further into that. What I mean by that is, it's, un, it's, it's not natural for us to go from, uh, you know, overwhelmed, confused, terrified, you know, somebody's, for instance, starting to stab us. It's natural to think, what are they doing? Who is this? Do I know this person? Why is this happening? All the while we're taking, you know, damage. Uh, what we're teaching people is that switch. I get hit once and I don't know what that was, but I'm going forward. I'm going forward with rage and aggression. Um, you didn't hear in that little brief uh, summary anything about techniques. Techniques are guaranteed to degrade under pressure. Uh, we truly believe we're teaching the most battle-tested, uh, easiest to learn, easiest to remember, uh, most effective techniques there are. But again, techniques will degrade massively under the stress, the exhaustion, the adrenaline dump of a real attack. Um, so we, we can't rely on techniques. I mean, nobody can really argue that fact. We've seen a lot of dash cams of you know, law enforcement officers in, in scuffles, and it never looks like they're training. They're just wailing away and doing who knows what. So truly, if, if techniques are going to degrade, it's not about the techniques. What we're teaching people is uh, aggression. Swing for the fences, go forward, um, blast people, um, cheat. You know, if you're in a fair fight, your tactics suck. We're going to hit people in the throat, kick them in the groin. Um, you know, I often get people saying, oh, that, you can't teach that. Well, of course I can. I've uh, said before, you know, I've got this, this single mom. She's at home. There's a home intruder in her house. His plans are to rape, torture, and murder the whole family. And, you know, what should I teach her? You know, a poomse or you know, a sidekick, a board break? Uh, what I need to teach her is to kick this guy in the groin as hard as she can. Uh, elbow him in the back of the head, throw him on the ground, stomp on his head. You know, that's not brutal. That's teaching people to survive through these horrible, horrible attacks. Now, you also hear us talk about we want to get through the loop and keep the attacker in the loop. By that, we're talking about Colonel Boyd's circle. You might have heard it called OODA loop, O-O-D-A. Observe, orient, decide, act. Uh, observe anything that happens. We have to observe it, orient to it, decide what we're going to do about it, and act. So if the scumbag has decided he's going to choke this, you know, this lady... She kicks him in the groin as she's getting out of that choke. He has to observe that, orient to it, decide what he's going to do. Before he gets to act, she has punched him in the throat. He observes, orients, starts to decide before he gets to act. You know, she's stomped on his Achilles. This is what we're teaching. We want to get through this loop, keep the bad guy in the loop. Uh, again, uh, not brutal. It's just the way to teach self-defense. In our classes, we go full bore. We go all out. Um, it's not necessarily a workout class, but we're certainly sweating and huffing and puffing because to teach a technique of, you know, our outside defense, do 100 reps with an outside defense, under the stress of an actual attack, that's what's going to come out of us. We're going to do and freeze and, 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 and come back to where we started. That's how we trained. If we're doing an outside defense in our classes, it's an outside defense into four punches, into an elbow, into grabbing them, kneeing them, throwing them on the ground, and stomping on their Achilles. That's where we want to spend most of our work in class because that's what we want coming out of us under stress. Um, under the adrenaline dump. Uh, you know, our training will come out of us under, um, under these things. You, exactly how you train is exactly what's going to come out. So we try to train correctly. We try to train with real world, um, you know, attacks. We have to have a realistic attack. We have to put people under stress. We have to put people under exhaustion. And again, to us, that is the only way to learn self-defense. Mark Slane, United States Krav Maga Association.